Hi everyone, my name is Manuel Pariente and today I'm going to present our InterSpeech paper about Asteroid, the PyTorch-based audio source separation toolkit for researchers. I'll first explain the motivations behind the creation of Asteroid, its features, and I'll finally present the results we reproduced with it. This paper is joint work with great people from all over the world and I wanted to thank them all for it. Uh, so, what is audio source separation? Audio source separation aims to extract source signals of interest from an audio stream involving several sound sources. It has been tackled for decades using probabilistic modeling, non-negative matrix factorization or beamforming. And open source toolkits such as FAST, HARC, Many Ears or Open Blizzard have been helping for it. In recent years, deep learning approaches have shown to be largely superior, at least in the single-channel source separation. This is a hand-picked list of source separation papers since 2016 that all use deep learning. This is to show that this is really a fast-evolving field and that even if this is a small list, there are a lot of papers. Most of these papers adopt the encoder masker decoder approach, which was first introduced in the TASNET paper in 2017. While Asteroid is not limited to that, this is our starting point. Several open source datasets have also been introduced during those years to support research and comparability. Here is a table summarizing the main ones. The underlying task includes speech enhancement and reverberation, single channel and multi channel speech separation music and ambient sound separation, for example. We believe that an open source toolkit providing standardized implementation for dataset generation on one side and architectures and evaluation metrics on the other side would highly benefit the community by promoting reproducibility and offering a basis for easy experimentation and improvement. <coughs> If we look at the past and present open source softwares, both general purpose or domain specific ones have had huge impact on both research and industry, speeding up innovation, for example. We would like something similar for source separation. But there are already great resources, you will say. Why would we need something new? Both Nussle and Onsin, for example, provide training and evaluation but no data preparation, and they are not configurable enough from the command line. OpenAdmix, on the other hand, has all the ingredients we would like, but only for music source separation. And isolated implementations are, well, isolated, so we lose time jumping from one to another and adapting to code that we don't know. Obviously, we encourage you to try them out and build your own opinion about them. So. Seeing these limitations of current software, uh, our design principles are the following. Use as much native PyTorch code as possible and integrate with existing code bases without changes. Both of these are here to make it easy to start using Asteroid for newcomers. Another design principle is to provide all steps from data preparation to evaluation to promote reproducible research. And finally, to enable recipes to be configurable from the command line to enable parallelization of experimentation over GPU clusters. Okay, now I'll review Asteroid's current features before presenting the results we reproduced. As we said, our starting point is the encoder masker decoder framework. Filter banks are the main elements of the encoder decoder block, and uh, we chose to make them consistent with the NNCOM1D with the 1D convolution layer from PyTorch so that the user will be familiar with it. And on the other side, we have the masker architectures, which are doing the actual separation, and we support quite a large range of those from the literature. Whenever sources to be separated are of the same nature, for example, separate speech against speech, we need to use permutation invariant training. The naive approach computes pairwise losses, uh, n-factorial times, 
And using a simple memoization trick, we can reduce it to n square loss computation and use the Hungarian algorithm to speed up things even more. Pete loss wrapper can turn any simple loss into a permutation invariant one in two or three lines. It's really simple, you should check it out. On the top of this wrapper, we have we support uh, some loss functions, which are usually uh, which are commonly used in source separation or speech announcement. Datasets are also a central part of source separation experimentation. We provide uh, data preparation recipes and data loaders for most common source separation or speech enhancement datasets and try to expand this coverage even more. Regarding the recipes, they follow a common pattern. You can see on the right, we download the data, we prepare it for you, the model is trained, we perform uh, evaluation and then we can share the models and have the inference engine to uh, we'll, we'll see that a little bit later. For training, we use a thin wrapper around PyTorch Lightning so we can benefit of all its cool features such as distributed training or mixed precision training, etc. Let's jump to a notebook to see how easy it can be to set up an experiment with Asteroid. We have the latest version of Asteroid installed. Let's now define our data, model, optimizer and loss function to start a deep learning experiment. For fast experimentation, we set up a mini speech separation dataset. We can define ConfTasNet as our model and use a classic optimizer. We use our pit loss wrapper to compute permutation invariant losses. Our system class pulls it all together so we can train with PyTorch Lightning and all its cool features. Of course, we show the condensed version here, but all levels of abstractions are exposed to the user, which makes it suitable for research. We also created a model hub on Zenodo, to which pre-trained models can be easily uploaded after training and also downloaded for further usage by the community. You can copy-paste the name of the model and directly load in Python. Using Python, the loading looks like this. We use DeepRNN testnet from pre-train, the name of the model we found on Zenodo, and that's it. We have the model. Uh, we also have an inference command line interface that downloads the required model and performs inference on pro provided WAV files, uh, and you can use regex as well. Okay, now that we've seen Asteroid, what Asteroid provides and what we can do with it, let's have a look at the results we obtain when replicating some important papers in the field. This first comparison is done on the seminal WAS Regional Zero Mix dataset where we train six different models, evaluate their performance in terms of scale invariant signal to noise, signal to distortion ratio, sorry, uh, the improvement of scale invariant signal to distortion ratio, and compare with the numbers originally reported in the papers. We can see that in most cases, most cases, we can reproduce the results and in some cases improve on the original performance. The, um, yeah. the second comparison shows an improved TASNET model applied to the reverberant MOAM dataset where we systematically outperformed the original results while trying to match the experimental conditions as much as we can. To illustrate the simplicity of experimentation, you can see the command we use to train the four models. This is just a simple loop in Bash where we loop over the task and keep the model fixed. Let's wrap it up now. We've seen that audio source separation is a very active field, and in deep learning since at least 2016, it's, it's moving really fast. Uh, we introduced Asteroid that is meant to support research and lower the barrier to entry in the field. We provide all the necessary building blocks for easy experimentation along with recipes to reproduce important papers. We've seen that the results of these recipes at least match the results originally reported, so you're safe to use it. Regarding what's next, we're planning to refactor the recipes to enable mix and match of datasets and architectures through a powerful command line interface. We'll also focus on Asteroid's model's jitability for faster inference engine, browser separation, and more. And we're planning to make a recipe with an interface to ESPNet or the upcoming version of Caldi in the future so that we can make an interface between source separation and recognition. 
To conclude, we'd like to invite you to join us, make Asteroid better and more suited to your use case. Our team is very inclusive and be happy to guide you through your contributions. All right, that's it for me. See you next time.